I decided it might be fun over some of these episodes to uh, read some of the the notes from the forums and such. Maybe for some people that don't visit or something. Uh, anyways, here we go. This is Letter from the Producer, number 32. This came out July 23rd. And uh, the next episode I'll read the newest one, uh, Letter from the Producer, number 33. And then we'll get back to our normal format. And we'll see how everyone liked this. Alright, let's get started. Ahem. Hello again, all you 14ers out there. Yoshi P here. Back with my 32nd missive. First up, I just have to say, bloody hell, it's hot. The whole of Tokyo is like Blacksmith's, Blacksmith's Forge this time of year, and I couldn't survive without AC. I'm about to fly over to Shanghai, which is even hotter than Tokyo. Well, there, though, I can sweat it out in style w with some fiery Szechuan cuisine, in case you're wondering. I'll be going for official version 2.0 business. As I mentioned via press release a while back, Square Enix has entered into a strategic partnership with SNDA, a major Chinese video game developer. With their cooperation, we'll be bringing FF14 version 2.0 to China, which boasts the largest online community in the world. This is one market that no global online operation can ignore, ours included. Official service in China is scheduled to commence a while after version 2.0's global launch, and so I thought it'd be good to check out China Joy, the nation's largest video game expo. We're not necessarily timing it with the event, but the new promo site will be unveiled very soon. Between the site's kickoff, Gamescom 2012 in August, and the Final Fantasy 25 anniversary event, we'll be, re be releasing a flood of info. In order to convey Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy XIV's allure from a fresh perspective, we plan to release the info in stages. From lore, scenario, and characters... I'm oh, sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> ...to the game system itself. Some things are bound to stir criticism, and I'll be watching fan reaction with great interest. As for my key words, I'd like to tentatively go with Rebirth, Challenge, Reform, and last but not least, Final Fantasy. Many considerations went into deciding our publicity policy, and all materials were picked for a reason. In the letters to come, though, I hope to be able to reveal more things to you, things I normally keep my mouth sealed about. Patch 1.23, which marks the final stage of the current version, is scheduled to go live on July 26th. With the events of the Seventh Umbral Era coming to a head, the team spare no effort in delivering a battle that has Final Fantasy written all over it. The greatest trial of the age awaits all the adventurers out there. But wait! There's more! In addition to the above, we'll also be bringing you Skirmish, which is designed to be fuss-free battle content you can jump right into. I hope you all look forward to that as well. Oh, and... There's the much-awaited summer festival, as I've already mentioned in forum posts. Yukata will be up for grabs this year. Um, right. As you can see in keeping with Japanese fashion, the Yukata are kind of... short. I must apologize in advance to those who would prefer traditional, uh, traditional full-length types. You see, some people on the team have certain inclinations. Laugh out loud. Ah, ah, ah. To recap, the 1.23 series of patches is about to land, bring, bringing with it the grand finale for the 7th Umbral Era. On top of this, we'll be releasing a slew of information as promotional activities commence our version 2.0. You won't be able to keep your eyes off FF14 this summer. And that's a wrap for today's letter. See you next time and or on the forums. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um... Let me see if I can give you a quick peek of the, uh, what did he call him here? Kimonos, uh, Yukata. Yes. Hold on just a moment here. That screen region. There you are. There are some of the Yukata that he mentioned. Hope you don't mind me putting that over top of your uh, video there. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to try to keep doing it either to read uh, patch notes, the different letters, 
that the producer writes and other other bits of information maybe even interesting forum conversations and of course co any questions you guys have for me or tips I would love tips because like I said I'm not very good at this game I don't do a lot of research into it so there's a lot of things I'm going to discover along the way and a lot of things hopefully you guys will tell me about and I'll, I'll learn along the way all right so there it is that is the end of my first producer's letter episode I will see you all tomorrow.